YouTubers, welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today, looking at yet another beer that was sent to me by the guys at alsbymail.co.uk. Check them out, guys, if you're located in Europe and want to get a great selection of both world beers, but also like a lot of newer, cooler UK breweries, like this one. This one is from Wales. I've been to Wales. If you didn't know, for you guys who are new to the blog, or vlog, Beer Reviews, YouTube channel, whatever. Uh, last year, I went to Wales to do a collaboration beer with a brewery over there called the Celt Experience. Uh, but this one is not by the Celt Experience. This is by another Welsh brewery called Tiny Rebel. And this is their Belgian Urban IPA. And they called it an Intercontinental Inspired Pale Ale on 5.5%. And it's made with a Belgian yeast strain. So, that is pretty cool. Ooh, I can smell that Belgian yeast already. But yeah, looks really nice. Slightly hazy, uh, orangey kind of color. A nice, huge, frothy four finger <laughs> beige head. I think it's so frothy and crazy because they poured a little too vigorously and there's like a laser itching on the glass down there and there's a lot of carbonation. But it smells really nice. Let's take out the aroma and close, or up close. Oh yeah, the Belgian yeast is definitely at play. You're getting a bubblegum, uh, fruity, candy-like aroma almost. Wow, it smells really nice. Oh yeah, and, and a hint of banana, and uh, there's like sweet citrus fruit. Oh, it smells so candied-like. Like, almost like juice. And it smells pretty bitter. It's very fruity. Oh, it reminds me of something like Hawaiian Punch almost, <laughs> for some odd reason. It's like some weird, fruity, Belgian-y yeast esters with a good kick of like grapefruity, citrusy, orangey hops. It smells like a pretty interesting Belgian IPA. It definitely smells like American style with the, like the Belgian-y nuances of the, the yeast. But uh, it smells awesome, guys. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah, that's really nice. The, the fruity east, uh, ester, east, <laughs> estery flavors are a little bit dulled down on the flavor compared to the aroma. And it's quite like bitter and chalky on the mouthfeel. The body is like medium, it's quite like really refreshing. There's bitter grapefruit, some piney, kind of dry uh, flavors. Almost like a a hint of like a, a bark woodsy flavor on the back end, just a hint. But mostly it's like grapefruit, some of the sweeter citrus fruits, like orange rind. I would have wanted I, you know, the fruity flavors and the aroma to be more present in the beer though, and the, or the aroma to be more present in the flavor, because uh, those are really nice. But this is still a really good beer. As far as I remember, this is one of the better breweries uh, in Wales from what I've had. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I can't remember if they're based in Cardiff or no, they're based in Newport, Wales. But oh, and I'm reviewing a beer, a Welsh beer, so cheers to real ale craft beer, Simon. I actually visited him when I was over in Wales to brew the collab. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. You probably know Simon, some of you guys. But uh, good stuff. Not the best IPA out there, and if you're not into Belgian IPAs, I won't recommend this because it's so you know a history or. It's got those kind of phenolic or yeasty estery flavors you get with building yeast. But if you like those kind of beers, I'd say pick this up and give it a go. So, rain wise, with the Tiny Rebel Belgian Urban IPA, I'm gonna go 86. It's actually really nice, really enjoyable. I can drink a lot of this since it's only 5.5%. So, um, good stuff, guys. Definitely let me know what you think of the Belgian Urban IPA from Tiny Rebel. If you've had it, check out Ales by Mail, guys, if you want to get a good selection of world beers and also other, like, UK beers and stuff. Especially, well, if you're in Europe, because they only ship to Europe. But, good stuff. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers. I'll see you guys in another beer review.